Merzoki, Marzoki, Merzakai. Close your eyes. And it's Coil! Ladies and gentlemen, today Merzoki is dropping a new fork, the Z1 coil, and also a coil conversion kit. So the Z1 Air has been out for a while. Merzoki's coming back with a bunch of new suspension these days, which is pretty killer. Um, coil suspension, rear shocks and forks have been making a big comeback because of just the unique feel that they have. We've kind of come full circle where we used to have a lot of coil suspension in the past, and then we made air and developed air a lot to get a lot better, and then we realized that coil had some really cool things about it as well. Now that's kind of best of both world. So this fork is a coil fork. Um, it comes stock with a medium spring in there. You can check out what rider weights that goes to here. Um, inside of that spring, there is also a little, I guess you could call it an air canister. And basically what that is there to do is to help with how progressive the fork is and prevent bottom out. So super interesting idea there to just give you that incredible like coil feel, but still have some like good, uh, you know, progressivity to it to prevent bottom out. Um, it has a grip damper. So Fox now is the parent company of Merzoki, if you didn't know. So if you're familiar with the Fox grip damper, that's what this is. You pretty much have infinite adjustment here, kind of adjust your high and low speed compression as you twist it, gets it all the way to the firm mode, which is basically a lockout. Um, you have preload over here. So when you're setting that thing up, you can adjust the preload on your spring to get your sag proper. Of course, you've got a rebound adjustment, um, 29, 27, 5. 150 to 170 in the 29 and 160 to 180 in the 27.5. Um, 749 bucks, 36 millimeter chassis, which is an incredible value for that price point. This chassis, this durability, durability, durability. And this simplicity of a fork. I think Marzocchi is really aiming for the uh, like a lot of value in their products these days and a lot of simplicity. So it's sort of a set it, forget it, have it work well. Now let's talk about a couple specs. One really interesting thing Merzoki did with this is they gave it a little noise management system. If you remember in the past, a lot of the spring forks, the spring would kind of clank around inside of the stanchion. That is now taken care of by a little cover over the top part of the spring, so shouldn't have any noise there. A uh, couple tech specs on this thing. The steer, 1.5 tapered. The rake is 37 in 27.5 and 44 or 51 in 29. And axle-wise, it's gonna be coming with a 15 mil by 110 QR. Colors are gonna be matte black and gloss red. Weight on this thing is 2,525 grams. One thing to note that that little sort of air canister inside the spring that's given this fork some progressivity and bottom out resistant, it is pressurized from the factory and you cannot adjust it. Um, however, that's kind of a set it and forget it nice little feature that they have there. One thing you can adjust is the travel. Uh, you do have included spacers with the fork when you buy it so you can adjust the travel fairly easy on these things. In case you are not a medium spring, you can buy different springs for 45 bucks and they are quite easy to swap out. And that brings me to the conversion kit, which is also available today. The conversion kit is 130 bucks for the kit and then $45 for the corresponding spring that you're also gonna need depending on your weight. Um, that conversion kit is compatible with the existing Z1 Air, and it's also compatible with Fox 36 Rhythm Series forks. However, it's not compatible with any other Fox 36 forks, except for the Rhythm Series exclusively. So that's that. Let's go give this thing to Liam and see how he likes it on the trail. What's up guys? I'm out here riding the Marzocchi Z1 coil for the first time and uh, first impressions are it feels like a coil. Um, I know it's like obvious to say that but if you have never ridden a coil suspension compared to air suspension especially on the forks uh, it's a pretty big difference especially off the top you have like almost no stiction to get this fork moving and the small bump is like second to none you know it's, it's really good off the top and uh, right out of the box as well 
I had a medium spring up for this and I'm just on the lowest end of the weight scale. So I ran the preload wide open. The grip damper is wide open. I just adjusted the rebound so it was nice and even for me. And uh, yeah, right out of the box, it was good. So it's really impressive. I'd say the combination of the, the stiff Marzocchi chassis, because they do say it's a little stiffer than a Fox 36, which is already pretty stiff, so that's impressive. Um, but the combination of the stiff chassis and then the coil sprung suspension really gives it a good feel on the trail. Like right away, I was feeling pretty confident and it felt like it tracked really well up front. So it was good. We didn't ride too gnarly of a trail. I didn't use quite all the suspension, but you know, for this trail and what I used, I'd definitely say that air spring uh, ramp up they have in there controlled the bottom out and on a bigger trail and bigger hits It'd probably feel really good and be perfect for my weight and setup So first impressions are solid and I'm stoked to get more time on it Thank you guys for watching Let us know down in the comments if you have ever had a Merzoki fork in the past. Yes or no Hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell and we'll see you guys in the next one